This is some of my photography gear, luggage, and camera bags that I take with me on trips. What I take depends on the gear that I'm taking and the trip and the purpose of the trip and you know where I plan to be going on the trip and the purpose of the, of the photography outing in the first place. A lot of it is different kinds of the same thing. For example, I have all kinds of backpacks. There's bigger ones and smaller ones. So for example, this one here is a bigger backpack and it has a lot of space for big things that fill up a lot of space. But then there's a smaller backpack, like say like this one here. That's a pretty small one. And that's a lightweight one that I can take. And then there's uh, roll on things for taking, for checking baggage on airplanes and things like that. Roller cases like this. This is a common one that I take with me as a roller case and I can get most of my heavy stuff in there. This is for carrying on the airplane. It's small enough to carry on the airplane. It has a handle that I can roll so that I can have really heavy stuff in here and then I have my one of these things on top of it like that. So I have a shoulder bag and a roller bag and that's what I carry on the plane and then I have a big suitcase that has the big things like, you know, the, the tripods and light stands and bigger heavy cables and things like that. But for on the airplane, there's that. Now on my last video, I mentioned that I'm on my Europe trip, I'm traveling light. That was kind of misunderstood by people. I didn't mean on the airplane. When I'm in the hotel or the room that I'm staying, there's a bunch of stuff. What I meant by traveling light was when I do my outings every day, when I go out on the street in different towns every day in Europe, then I'm going to just carry something small like this. This by the way is really cool. It's a it goes, this is a belt that you wear. It's like a big giant fanny pack. It's a camera equipment fanny pack, which is really cool. And you can, you can also carry it as a, it can have a strap that you can carry on your shoulder or you can have it on your waist. But for the most part, I carry stuff like this. This is a shoulder bag and it has a shoulder strap. So for my little daily outings, I use just a little thing like that or like this one, which is pretty small. And you can carry a camera and several lenses, a, a flash or something. That's a small one. This is a, um, what is that? It's a retrospective five by Think Tank. And that brings another important point here. All of this stuff that you see here, all these different kinds is by the same company. And that's what I want to make this video about is this company makes the best camera gear uh, cases of any of them. And this is Think Tank. Uh, by the way, this one here, I don't use backpacks a lot. This one here is a backpack, by the way, you can see. And it's got a bunch of lights in here. These are Stella's. They're really, really heavy. And they, they're one of the most portable LED lights that puts out a lot of power um, but they're really heavy and I had four of these and the, the, by the way the, 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 these are battery powered you can take these on location and th this backpack here with these lights this was actually a lot more full when I was using it, was used to make this video. In this video, I hiked out into the desert by myself, set up a bunch of lights to fill in the shadow side of my face. It was really heavy, but I set up the camera on a tripod. This was in Red Rock Canyon here in, uh, in Las Vegas. It was just one purpose, hike out to a certain spot, film, and then go back. So that's what the backpack is good for, but not for my daily, regular photography outings. For that, I use these things and I like this bag so much this is my use this one here. it's not as dirty um, this is a retrospective 50 I liked it so much I got two of them this is a big one uh, this is my carry-on for uh, the airplane 
and for doing bigger shoots like full frame on location. And I took one of these on the Europe trip. So what I use depends on the purpose of the trip, but usually I carry a bunch of stuff on the plane and leave it at the hotel room or the ship or whatever it is. And then I just take a little thing out every day, even something small like this, or like this, or like this, just small. Just a little thing. So anyway, I just wanted to mention what most of my gear is, and it's by Think Tank. Check out their website, thinktankphoto.com. I do not get paid for promoting this. They don't even know I exist. I'm just doing this to tell you guys, because I get asked a lot, what gear do I use? The bag I use the most out of anything that I have is this thing here. It's a Retrospective 50. I'm not using this a lot on my Europe trip for my daily outings. Sometimes I do. Usually I take a little tiny thing, but I wanted to talk about this bag real quick because it's just the best bag. I'm coming in here from the beautiful Mosul River District in Germany, and I have my trusty camera bag with me, the Think Tank Retrospective 50. It's, it's a big heavy duty bag. I've had this with me for years, been around the world with it. I carry a lot of stuff in here. I mean, a lot of big heavy gear. Sometimes I have 30 to, I'm sometimes even 40 pounds of stuff in here. And Zakira asked me once, she says, why don't you carry a back, you know, put your stuff on a backpack if you're gonna be lugging it around all day. Uh, there's a good reason for that. I actually have four photography backpacks and I never use them. But for me, the backpacks are, I think, good if you're hiking a long distance and you're only gonna be in one particular place and you don't move and then you hike all the way back, that's good. But for me, when I'm doing like running around, taking pictures, and I need to like spontaneously stop and take a picture, change lenses, go another 20 feet, stop, take a picture, change lenses, go another, you know, 500 feet, stop, take a picture, change lenses. That's not gonna work for a backpack because you have to stop, take it off, put it down, open it up. Here, it's like a portable office. I have, you know, I can wear it like this. So this is like a little, like a table, like a desktop. So like, okay, I've got all kinds of lenses and cameras in here. So I can pull out a lens and I'm always switching lenses because I've always, you know, interchangeable lenses, fixed uh, primes. I don't use zooms. So I take some pictures and I take the lens off and I just put it down, take another lens, pick this one, unscrew it and put on the, the new lens. Now notice that was very little effort because I've got my desktop right here and I don't have to bend over, I don't have to do anything, it's all right here. Take some pictures, take this lens off, you know, put some filters on it, some caps, whatever, put it in here, well, let's take this lens right here. Put this lens on, good to go. Wanna adjust some filters, some caps, whatever it is, adjusting lights, you know, get my viewfinder out like that so this is really good because i've got all my camera everything i need is right here at my fingertips and i don't have to bend over i don't have to do anything and then i can just like walk a little bit stop look around hmm, maybe i'll use this camera this time you know put pictures change the lens put a flash thing on it okay that's good let's go another 20 feet blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay i'm gonna use uh this thing use this camera Click, 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 click. All right, now I walk along, you know. So that's why I like this. It's, it's, you might think it digs into your shoulder a lot. This one actually has a really good heavy duty padded shoulder thing here, which is really good for, it doesn't really dig in your shoulder that much. So this is actually a really good bag for um, carrying heavy stuff and not digging into your shoulder. I switch shoulders every 20 minutes maybe, but this is this has been a great bag and it's 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 you can see it's like totally it's not a rigid case like it changes its shape so if I go on an airplane as a check on you know a carry on bag I can shove it under the seat and it changes its shape a little bit to fit so it's uh see how it changes its shape you want that when you're traveling <laughs> Think Tank makes the best stuff. If you're into photography and you want the best carrying stuff, they also make backpacks, they make roller bags. Think Tank, I think, is the best company of all that makes photography carrying devices, containers, bags, whatever. Anyway, so I'm gonna go uh, up the road a bit, start taking pictures. I just thought I'd share that really quick. This is why I carry this kind of bag instead of a backpack or a roller bag, because that's just really impractical if you're 
going through the countryside like this. Photography for me is like a military operation. You get dropped into the strange territory and you have to move fast. You have to be able to change your equipment quickly, do your thing, get on to the next thing and uh, and not be bogged down by logistics or anything. This is a really portable, easy to use thing. So that's my little thing for today. I don't know if it benefits any of you, but people ask me, what bags do I use when I do this stuff? So, okay. I'm gonna take, let's take some pictures. It's a beautiful day. I'm in a different country. Lots of photography opportunities. Lots of edible herbs on the ground. <laughs> See ya. Subscribe to Marcus Fix.